how can we start to reduce the total stress load? What, what we know now is the allostatic load that seems to build up um, and seems to impact just about everyone who's experienced a chronic chronic condition. So number one is how do we reduce that total load so that we're less susceptible to being impacted by things like pathogens and things in the first place. And then number two, when we encounter these challenges, how can we change the way that our brain and body respond to that information? Um, and this is where the more targeted neuroplasticity and what we spoke about just a, a moment ago about discomfort, not equaling danger, you know, comes into play. And, and that's what I, I want to step back for a minute. Cause you, I, this is, you're hitting all the, all the right points. This is beautiful, but just to, just to, you know, give people that sense that, you know, the simple breathing and that simple muscle, like, you know, things you just started with in the beginning, it, you know, just how that begins to restore movement it, we have to keep moving your organs need to move lymph drainage needs to happen so this isn't magical i guess what i was just trying to make the point there that these very early subtle things you know they work on the brain but they're also working on every organ in your body they're restoring flow and that's you know that is the 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 that's what we're always trying to do and and it's so important that really it starts with you and um, and it's just beautiful the way you've put this together. 